Today we're going to be talking about how to find the critical points of a multivariable function. And in this particular problem, we've been given the multivariable function f of xy is equal to x squared plus xy plus y squared plus y. Now, if you'll remember from calculus one, when we talk about finding the critical points of a single variable function, so for example, if we have a function f of x, and we want to find the critical points of f of x, what we want to do is take the derivative, so we'd get f prime of x, once we have the derivative, we set it equal to zero, and then we solve for x. We're looking for the values of x. Well, we're going to follow those same steps with this multivariable function, but of course we can't just take the derivative like we did when we found f prime of x. When we have a multivariable function, of course we have to take partial derivatives. So to take partial derivatives of our function f of x, y, we'll take the partial derivative of f with respect to x, we'll also take the partial derivative of f with respect to y. So we need to take the two of them. When we find these derivatives, we'll have the derivative here. We're going to set both of these equal to zero, and then we're going to have to solve those two equations as a system of simultaneous equations. So let's go ahead and take the partial derivatives. When we talk about the partial derivative of f with respect to x, of course we're going to be taking the derivative treating x as the variable and y as a constant. So the derivative of x squared is just 2x, like normal. The derivative of xy, when y is a constant, then the y becomes a coefficient on this x term here. So the derivative of xy is just y, so we say plus y. And then the derivative of y squared plus y is going to be zero, because there's no x variable involved in either of these terms right here. They're both constants, and the derivative of a constant is zero, so these drop off completely. Now when we talk about the partial derivative of f with respect to y, the derivative of x squared will be zero, because we're treating y as the variable and holding x as a constant. So x squared here will be zero. The derivative of xy, well, x becomes a coefficient on this first degree y variable, so the derivative of xy is just x. Now when we talk about y squared, the derivative will be 2y, and the derivative of y will be 1. So now we have both of our partial derivatives. Like we did over here when we had a single variable function, we're going to set both of them equal to zero. And now we need to solve the two of these as a system of simultaneous equations. So we need to find not just a value for x, like we did when we had a single variable function, but a value for x and y. And that xy pair will be the critical point of the multivariable function. So when it comes to solving this as a system of simultaneous equations, let's go ahead and move our constants to the right-hand side, leaving just our variable terms on the left-hand side. There's no constant term in this 2x plus y equals 0, so we'll leave that alone. We'll put that over here, 2x plus y is equal to 0. But here we have a plus 1. We're going to move that to the right by subtracting 1 from both sides, and we're going to get x plus 2y is equal to negative 1. Now there's several ways we can do this. For example, we could solve this second equation here by subtracting 2y from both sides, and we'd get x is equal to negative 1 minus 2y, and then we could plug that value into our first equation here. We can also multiply through this second equation by 2, so that we have 2x in this first equation and 2x in the second equation, and then subtract one from the other, and that x will disappear, and we can solve for y. That's the method I want to use this time, just because I feel like it. So what we're going to do is leave this top equation alone, 2x plus y equals 0. We're going to multiply through the bottom equation by 2, both sides. So 2 times x gives us 2x. 2 times 2y gives us 4y. And 2 times a negative 1 gives us a negative 2. Now what we can do is subtract the bottom equation from the top one, so we're going to subtract everything here. 2x minus a 2x is going to give us 0. y minus 4y gives us a negative 3y. And 0 minus a negative 2 is 0 plus 2, or positive 2. Now what we can do is solve this for y. We have negative 3y is equal to 2. We divide both sides by negative 3, and we get y is equal to negative 2 thirds. Now that we have a value for y, we can plug it back into either of our equations here to solve for a corresponding value of x. So let's go ahead and plug it into this equation right here. It doesn't matter which one you choose. We'll just choose this one. So we're going to get 2x. Now we have plus y here. So we're going to add negative 2 thirds, or just get a minus 2 thirds, and that's going to be equal to 0. 
Adding 2 thirds to both sides, we get 2x equals positive 2 thirds. And then dividing both sides by 2, we're going to get x is equal to 1 third because our 2's will cancel. We'll just be left with 1 third. Now we have an x value here and a corresponding y value. So we put those together in a coordinate pair and we get the coordinate point 1 third negative 2 thirds. And this is our critical point of the multivariable function f of xy.